Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 22 of Book 5. Now in this proposition, we are going to start with the same equalities that we had for Proposition 20. In other words, A to B is equal to the ratio of D to E, and the ratio of B to C is equal to the ratio E to F. And in this proposition, we are going to show that if these equalities hold, then it is also true that the ratio of A to C will be equal to the ratio of D to F. So to do this, again, we start off with our initial conditions, and we create two new lines, G and H, so that they are equal multiples of A and D, two more lines, K and L, which are equal multiples of B and E, and finally, another two lines, M and N, which are equal multiples of C and F. Now, if A to B is equal to D to E, then according to Proposition 2, sorry, according to Proposition 4, if we take an equal multiple of A and D and a different equal multiple of B and E, then M times A to N times B would be equal to the ratio of M times D to N times E. Again, this comes from here, goes to here, through Proposition 4 but MA is equal to G, NB is equal to K, MD, H, and NE, L. So in other words, G to K is equal to the ratio of H to L. So if A to B is equal to D to E, G to K is equal to H to L. Similarly, we can show that if B to C is equal to E to F, then K to M is equal to L to n. But if you recall from Proposition 20, if we have a ratios such that g to k is equal to h to l, or g to k is equal to h to l, k to m is equal to l to n, excuse me, if g to k is equal to h to l and k to m is equal to l to n, then if g is greater than m, then, well, if G is greater than M, H would be greater than N. If G was equal to M, H would be less equal to N. And finally, if G was less than M, H would be less than N. This relationship right here. Now, G, of course, is equal to MA. M is equal to PC, H, MD, and N, PF. And if we recall from definition 5, if we have m, well, some multiple times a, where it's greater than, less than, or equal to another multiple of c, implies that the first multiple, m times d, would be greater, equal, or less than p times f. This is the definition of two ratios being equal. So this means or defines the fact that a to c is equal to d to f. So to recap, if we have A to B is equal to D to E, B to C is equal to E to F, then we have shown that A to C is also equal to D to F. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.